You're watching Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 10. With Brian James and Krista Hinton. You're watching KTIV, Sue Lance News Channel. Live from Signal Hill, this is News Channel 4 at 10. Good evening. Nebraska lawmakers have started a legislative session that... You're watching Sue Lance News Channel with Christy Vermullum, Matt Breen, meteorologist Ron DeMars, and sports with Brad Pouch. This is KTIV News Channel 4 at 10. From KXII-TV, this is First News at Noon with Ellen Sacco and meteorologist Tom Miller with the weather. Good morning and thank you for joining us for this abbreviated... Channel 2, KPRC-TV, Houston. From Houston, this is Channel 2 News with Ron Stone, Jan Carson, Doug Johnson, Craig Roberts, and the Channel 2 News team. Hello, everybody. There's been another mass murder in the news. You're watching Channel 13, KTRK-TV, Houston. Good morning, Texas. This is Eyewitness News at 7 a.m. with Tom Cook. Nelson's traffic reports and Doug Brown's weather. Now, Eyewitness News. At the top of the news this morning, Houston. Live, local, late breaking. This is KBMT 12 News at 10. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Jancy Sheets. There's just From KFDM TV, you're watching Six News, the Weekend Report. We have another individual up. Live from KFDM TV, you're watching Six News with Angel San Juan, meteorologist Terry Cooper, and James Ware with Sports. studio in Parkdale Mall, Albert Zip, Lisa Pinto, Dana Malonso Weather, and Sports with Brian Joyce. This is your hometown news at 10. Announcing the... Now, Central Indiana's most accurate forecast from Storm Team 6. The severe thunderstorms across... You're watching Hometown Sports and News, Indiana's only 24-hour local sports and news channel. Featuring live radar and Central Indiana's most accurate forecast from Storm Team 6. Now, the latest headlines from across the state on HTSN. I'm Jenna Coy, and here's what we're working on for our The team that knows how to cover the place we call home. Your life, your news. Experience 24-hour news aids. You're watching Wish TV. Now, 24-hour News 8 Daybreak continues. That severe weather moved through central Indiana last night. It brought uh, flash flooding, severe... And News at 10, the area's only 10 o'clock news. The search for a suspect has expanded... To local, state, and national news first at 10. And up to the minute, local weather with live Doppler radar. Fox 10, News at 10. Do you have a... Real Now at noon with Gary Waddell and Denise Valdez. The news for Southern Nevada is now. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining.
Welcome back to the global news. Yes, and you know what? We Usted está sintonizando KELF 27.1 y Cox 64, Telefutura Las Vegas. And it's 1 a.m. in New York, 6 in London, and 2 on a Wednesday afternoon here in Seoul. I'm Moon Gun Young. Here are what's making headlines at this hour. Live from Las Vegas, your only choice for live local news right now. With Emmy Award winner John Huck, Olivia Fierro, Weather 24-7 with Chief Meteorologist Stacey Donaldson. This is Fox 5 News at 10. Local Las Vegas. A possible car. Weekly news. <laughs> President Obama made a short stop in northern Nevada today. On From KHON 2 News, this is Hawaii at 10 with Joe Moore, Hawaii's number one news. Good evening and thank you for joining us on this Tuesday, the 5th of August. An America. Tomorrow on Wake Up Today. It's been a wild week on Wall Street. Our business analyst, Randy Hover, puts it in perspective. And we'll tell you more about a show meant to inspire, plus weather and traffic on the tube. Tomorrow on Wake Up Today. You're watching Hawaii's number one newscast at 5. KITV4, Island Television News at 5. Good evening and thanks for having us in. Four non-Hawaiian students are... Deck Games 28. You're watching KITV4, Island Television News at 5. With Pamela Young, Gary Sprinkle, Island Weather with Justin Fujioka, and Island Sports with Robert K. Kaula. This is your Island Television News at 5. The Hawaii Tourism Authority meets to decide the fate of its president. What could happen to Rex Johnson after a sexually explicit email scandal? Coming up at 6 on your Island Television News. Can just one cigarette get someone hooked? Well, yeah, he will definitely be missed. Not forgotten, though, but definitely just going to be missed. Hundreds gathered to remember the life of an 11-year-old boy killed in a car crash. How they celebrated memories of a life taken too soon. No, I think it's a big loss for the city, you know. An information hotspot in Waikiki is going away. Why the kiosk by the Honolulu Zoo is being taken down. Then... <laughs> Waipio Little Leaguers have plenty to cheer about tonight, but they're not done yet. Where they're headed next. And Hawaii's Ali'i come out to honor Kanyaku Imi. KITV 4 News at 10 starts now. Good evening. A community celebrated the life of an 11-year-old boy. You're watching KHNL, NBC Hawaii. Right now at 10, on the attack, Mufi Hanneman jabs at Neil Abercrombie's upbringing, education, even his beard. Also, the, the two dogs that I witnessed die were just wrapped up in newspaper and thrown into the rubbish bin. Undercover video shows sick dogs at an Oahu puppy farm, but the Humane Society says the company is in the clear. Four months before the holidays, Costco Ivile gets a head start on the crowds. And a Caribbean crash landing gets a pilot rave reviews. In high definition, simulcast on KTMB and KHNL. Live, local, connected at 10 o'clock. This is Hawaii News Now. The governor's race goes negative. Good evening, I'm Keahi Tucker. Steph has the night off. Mo Local, connected at 10 o'clock. You're watching Hawaii News Now with Stephanie Lum and Kayahi Tucker. A little girl hit by a truck yesterday in Mo'ili. Live, 
local, connected at 10 o'clock. This is Hawaii Sports Now with Mike Cherry. Welcome back. The NFL preseason has just begun, but the regular season is already over for Jordan. From Hawaii's severe weather team, this is Hawaii Weather Now with Ben Gutierrez. Relatively dry conditions this evening, but those... Live from Wish TV, this is breaking news from 24-Hour News 8. And good evening. That breaking news is coming out of Hendricks County tonight, where an Avon police officer was hurt after being involved in a crash. The Hendricks County... Boston's only 24-hour local news channel with your News Now. This is News 8 Austin today. Hello and thank you for joining us. I'm Shani Wald. Here's From WGNO New Orleans, this is ABC 26 News at 6. A Gretner mother hopes DNA evidence is enough to get her son off. Liz Reyes, Ed Daniels, Chief Meteorologist Bruce Katz, and Harry McCullough with sports. You're watching WGNO. We've got New Orleans on ABC 26 News. It is time to get out your suntan lotion, big hat. Tonight on Fox 8 News at 9. I water every day. But I don't empty the drip pans underneath. Find out which parts of your property are prime breeding grounds for mosquitoes that could be carrying a deadly virus. Jazz Fest is bigger than ever. Find out how organizers are planning to keep fans safe so they can focus on the music. I'm looking forward to buying a new wardrobe. Uh, I can only take up my pants so much before the pockets start beating. Just days after serious surgery to lose weight, Sheriff Harry Lee says he's ready to start his new life. Now we can move forward. Uh, now justice can be done. The family of Lacey Peterson talks about the emotional events of the past few days. Fox 8 News at 9 starts right now. WVUE TV, New Orleans. This is Fox 8 News at 9. So we should be ready for another uh, year that may be as bad as last year. Or maybe we'll Active hurricane season? Find out later on Fox 8 News at 9. Get live weather updates from Fox 8 meteorologist Crystal Wicker. Weekday mornings at the top of every hour from 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. Only on Fox 8, your weather authority. Get the best. John Snell, Nancy Parker, Joe Trahan with sports, and Chief Meteorologist Bob Breck. You're watching Fox 8 News, your weather authority. An Iraqi opposition leader says he believes... From the heart of the Virginias, this is WHSV TV3 News at 11. We're making a difference for you. Are mandatory water restrictions inevitable? A persistent drought could soon dry up any alternatives. Good evening. This is News Center at 10 on Maine's WB51 with Shannon Moss and meteorologist Steve McKay. Good evening, everyone. I'm Shannon Moss with the latest on the war in Iraq coming up in just a moment. Tonight's New Center 10 is brought to you by Unclaimed Freight. Good evening, I'm Yvonne Wright. The National Guard airlifted over one million. Thank you for watching us. Stay tuned for the CBS Evening News with Ann Rather. Good night. Tonight's News Center 10 was brought to you by Unclaimed Freight. Islands is yours on WSTA 1340 AM stereo.
No satellite dish for us. We're live and playing music for you. Programmed by us right in your own backyard. For 37 years, we've been your local station, covering local news, sports, and giving all Virgin Islanders live local coverage. Keep the beat with the heartbeat of the Virgin Islands. WSTA 1340 on your AM dial in stereo. Four times more powerful. Channel 10, St. Thomas. Tonight, the nuclear weapon accident that put the U.S. on full alert. The power of the Fed. Who are those guys and why are they so feared? The rules that President Reagan once changed in the abortion law. The UFO down under. And welcome to Broadway, the Phantom of the Opera. From the Independent News, this is USA Tonight with Brad Holbrook. Good evening. Some unexpected moves from the Nicaraguan government are raising eyebrows from Managua to Miami to Cap... This is the CBS Morning News. Good morning. I'm Barry Peterson. Charles Osgood is off today, and Faith Daniels... Speak one great cup at a time. Any old time. New twists in the Helmsley trial, the latest today at noon. Good morning. This is Tuesday, August 22nd. I'm Harry Smith. And I'm Faith Daniels. Kathleen Sullivan is a bit under the weather today. Welcome to CBS This Morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Faith. Good morning. Lots of news this morning. Colombia's drug crackdown has led to the arrest of nearly 12,000. Talk Flick today, starting at 5 on Channel 2 News. From the first team, this is Channel 2 News this morning with Mary Murphy. Sponsored by Folgers Coffee. Good morning. Right now it's 725. It's 70 degrees and clear in Midtown. It's You're watching NBC for New York. And now, Sue Simmons, Jim Rosenfield, Janice Huff, and Len Berman. This is News Channel 4, live at 5. Pratt boys under arrest, four students from... You're watching NBC for New York. And now, Chuck Scarborough, Michelle Marsh, Janice Huff, and Len Berman. This is News Channel 4 at 6. A judge refuses to derail the fair hike for some... Eyewitness News 11. The FDIC pulls the plug on Alaska Holdings. Donations are pouring in for a Soldatna woman needing money for a heart transplant. And today it took its last flight. Stay tuned. First in Alaska, Kimberly Van Scoy, Steve McDonald, Vicki Greenland weather. And Tom Miller, sports. Now, Eyewitness News 11. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Van Scoy. And I'm Ray Etrich, sitting in for Steve McDonald, who has the uh, night off. Alaska's economy got a much-needed shot in the arm today. Governor Steve Cooper arrived in Anchorage this afternoon to sign into law a $75 million jobs bill. The new <laughs> Thank you for joining us, everybody. Have a good night. KTVA's Eyewitness News has been brought to you by your new Anchorage Chrysler Dodge Car and Truck Center, 2601 East 5th. Flea Festation. Channel 2 Newsroom, tonight at 10.30. CBS News continues its coverage of Campaign 76. 
Today, the final session of the Democratic National Convention from Madison Square Garden in New York. This portion is sponsored by the people of Ford Motor Company on behalf of Ford and Lincoln Mercury dealers. Ford wants to be your car company. Now here again is Walter Cronkite. There are no records in the past conventions of the two major political parties that... Jess Marlowe's special convention report tonight at 10.30. That story now on Live at 5. Live with Texoma's 24-hour news team. This is News Center 3's Live at 5. Good evening, everyone. I'm Doug Billy. And I'm Emily Lux, and thanks for joining us. This is KSWO-TV, Channel 7 in Lawton and Wichita Falls. You can count on us. The state Senate has passed the lottery bill. I'm Carla Wade. That story is coming up. The lottery is one step closer to being voted on by the people. I'm Carla Wade. That story is just ahead. Health care is on the rise, but why? I'm Jason Whitehorn. Find out how this affects you, the patient. That story straight ahead. The West Nile virus may soon become a problem again as the weather begins warming up. I'm Station Aikman, live in East Comanche County. Your news is now. Live in Texoma, ABC Channel 7. This is 7 News Tonight. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. The education lottery bill sailed through the Oklahoma Senate after an uphill battle in the State House. Senate. Watching Texoma's 7 News at 6 with Jan Stratton, David Bradley, Andy Wallace, weather, Nicole Jolly with MedWatch, and Vince Erickson Sports. Ballistic Ex KAUZ TV, celebrating 50 years of service to Wichita Falls and Texoma. This is News Channel 6 tonight. In the past month or so, it's been really. News Channel 6, where weather comes first, with Rhonda Mackey, Lynn Walker, Storm Team Command Center forecaster Megan Danahay. And Chris Horgan's Video Sports. This is News Channel 6 tonight. Closed captioning is brought to you by the John Holt Auto Group in Chickasha, Oklahoma. Have you had the talk with your kids? KCAL 9 News at 8 begins right now. You're watching KCAL 9 News at 8. With the long Memorial Day weekend just ahead, Americans... To you're watching KCAL 9 News at 9. And there are new concerns tonight at the wave of attacks overseas that cannot be detected by a mammogram. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kerry Kilbride. And I'm Pat Harvey. KCAL 9 News at 10 starts right now. You're watching KCAL 9 News at 10. JXT, Jacksonville. This is Eyewitness News, the one most people watch, with Tom Wills and Deborah Giannotis. The economic summit in Ottawa ended today. Whenever news happens, wherever it happens, Eyewitness News. Number one at five. Number one at five. Number one at five thirty. Number one at six. And now, number one at ten. Number one at ten. When news matters to you, count on the people who can help you make the most of it all. Eyewitness News, only on the one and only Channel Four. Thank you for turning to 10. From WJAR, this is News Channel 10 at 6. They'd eaten all our food, drank all our beer, and um, party their brains out. A News Channel 10 exclusive, a local... You're watching NBC 30 Connecticut News. Always live, local, late breaking. An alarming admission from leaders in Saudi Arabia. Could this... Only at Sears Optical. Live. From Connecticut's news leader, this is NBC 30 Connecticut News at 6. 
Three people shot in a Windsor Locks nail salon tonight. Police still piecing together what went wrong. Hi, everybody. I'm Jerry Brooks. I'm Joanne Nesty. The three victims. Now, Pat Harvey, Kerry Kilbride, and Byron Miranda with weather. You're watching KCAL 9 News at 8. A Southland student hacks his way into a high school. Now, Sylvia Lopez, Dave Clark, and Byron Miranda with weather. You're watching KCAL 9 News at 9. Ukrainian children exposed to the radioactive fallout from the Chernobyl nuclear disaster get a clean bill of health after a checkup in Oregon. But parents are still fearful for their children's future. Good evening, everyone. I'm Gary Hill. And I'm Kim Singer. Some Soviet children did get some... In the spirit of the Northwest, serving Oregon and Southwest Washington, this is Channel 2 News at 11 with Jeff Gianola and Julie Emery, Jim Little, Lou Gellos, and the entire Channel 2 News team. Good evening, everybody. Another potentially dead... Mike Donahue and Shirley Hancock, tonight on Newsroom 6. Th Next in Newsroom 6 at 5. You're watching Coin TV. Now, live from Coin Center, Mike Donahue. Shirley Hancock, Randy Quarren with weather, and Ed Whalen with sport. The Northwest's most experienced news team. This is Newsroom 6. President Clinton's sales staff just flew into the Rose City. Bringing you the spirit of the Northwest, we are KATU. Now, Channel 2 News. Well, from the Columbia River Gorge to downtown Portland, freezing rain covers roads and bridges, making driving very difficult. But will it warm up in time for the morning commute? Good evening, I'm Steve Dunn. And I'm Jeff Gianola. People across the Portland area tonight are once again on... Now, Channel 2 News continues with Jeff Gianola and Steve Dunn. Well, some call it an unwritten act of discrimination, and tonight lawmakers... Explosions and fires. Now see how Asteroid was made. Next. Live at 11, this is KGW, Northwest News Channel 8. The picket lines are gone, and for now, so are the substitute teachers. But tonight, security guards remain posted outside schools in Sandy. In just about eight hours, Sandy students will have their regular teachers back. Yes to be there, I think, is what they need. And hopefully, this time we get to stay. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for staying up with us tonight at 11. I'm Jim Benneman. Hello, I'm Carol Jensen. Our top story tonight, Sandy teachers are preparing class plans and packing up school. This News Channel 8 segment brought to you by your Northwest Chevrolet Geo dealers. Now, with Jim Benneman and Carol Jensen, this is KGW, Northwest News Channel 8. A Coast Guardsman who died during a rescue. True, Captain Webb reporting for duty at 4.30 as usual on this beautiful Christmas Day. 1962, the year's top story. With Leo Hardy, Steve Hemmings, and Jim Burton. Dave Hemmings. Our couple of special report. Inspection B plan remains in limbo. As parents in Hartford, part of the same district. 1983 report on 50 years, your stories have been our... from Sin City. We'll see just how much trouble Jaywalk is getting into. That's straight ahead. The news starts now. Now, live from Great Falls, Casey Kelly. Charlie Hyde with weather. Chris Nettleton on sports. Just you watch. This is ABC 5 News. 5.30 in Great Falls. Time for news. I'm Casey Kelly. Here's your top story for tonight. A lesson in remembering to lock your car door. Police are looking for a woman in connection with a string of stars. It's the big 5-0 for ABC tonight, so we will join you here after the birthday bash. Until then, have a great night. We'll see you then.
Lindsay Mammon and ABC5 News. Your local news is next. You're watching NBC 16, Great Falls. It's time for Montana's own Big Sky News at 10 o'clock. Good evening, I'm Greg Wilson. And I'm Jamie Dismer. Welcome to Big Sky News at 10. A Missoula family is mourning the loss of a 21-month-old girl today after the toddler drowned in a canal yesterday afternoon. Kayla Wong was playing at her grandparents' house when she... Fox, turn in. Our gigantic liquidation sale at the fairground! Don't miss it! This portion of the news brought to you by Dodge. The U.S. is now on high alert or orange level alert with authorities saying a terrorist attack could occur. You're going to be loving that. Looks like your next chance of rain should occur here sometime early next week. Thank you, Jeremy. The NBA playoffs are in full swing. Doug Kazarian will have the latest next in sports. Plus, it's a media circus at the Colonial Championship. That's next on your Big Sky Sports. Popped out of the building. I like him saying... A little scary. Yeah, yeah just a I'll, little. Just, yeah, just a little <laughs> bit. Just a tad. <laughs> no doubt. Well, that does it for us. Thank you very much for watching Big Sky News at 10. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 5. Have a good night. Good night. NBC, America's late night lead. Um, U.S. white, I think, is, is over half a million. Alberta cattle make it in, into the U.S. every year, and a good, like I said, a good majority of those come through here. So, U.S. borders remain closed to Canadian beef until authorities determine yesterday's discovery of mad cow disease was an isolated case. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Janae Town. It's possible more cattle could be infected with mad cow disease. That's the word from Canadian Health. Pretty quiet night in the Arctic Creek City. Temperatures are cooling off a bit, but we still have some pretty good cloud cover, and that keeps temperatures fairly mild as well. Tem Place driving Great Falls. You're watching the 10 o'clock news on KRTV, North Central Montana's number one news station, with Janae Town, weather with Fred Pfeiffer, and sports with Heath Hegem. The 2003 Montana Special Olympics are underway. Competitors from around the state and he was Male Athlete of the Year at the University this year, so congratulations to him. Absolutely, and some good track stuff coming up this there week. There should be some great track stuff coming up this weekend. Some records could fall, and Helen and Missoula, double A, A, B, and C will all be going at it. All right, thanks, Ethan. Thanks for watching us tonight. Make sure you wake up tomorrow morning with Nick and Michelle at 6.30. We'll see you later. where you live starts now. This is WTDO Channel 17 News at 5. News where you live. This newspaper ad warns residents they could pay the price for medical, medical malpractice lawsuits. Good evening, I'm Steve Stottleman. And I'm Mary Stoker-Smith. We'll have that story for you in a moment. But first, Chief Meteorologist Scott Harbaugh says some severe thunder thunderstorms could be passing our way. Yeah, already we've had some in the area this afternoon. Still a severe thunder. Some new information about a controversial therapy for women. You'll hear from the experts up next. You're watching WTDO Channel 17 News at 5. News where you live with Steve Stottleman, Mary Stoker-Smith, Scott Lever with sports and chief meteorologist Scott Harbaugh with your Storm Tracker 17 forecast. Get ready. $5,000 down. If you haven't looked at Ford lately, 13 WREX made in Rockford for 50 years. You're watching Rockford's news leader, 13 WREX. Live from Rockford, this is 13 News at 6.
President Bush signs a tax relief package today. He says it'll light a fire under the economy, could put more money in your pocket immediately. Good evening and welcome to 13 News at 6. I'm Eric Wilson. I'm Danny Maxwell. Tax relief is on the way after the President signs off on cuts worth more than $300 billion. You're watching Rockford's News Leader 13 News with Eric Wilson, Danny Maxwell, Chief Meteorologist Nate Higgins, and Sports Director Kevin Burns. Style. 23 News. People you can count on. Now, live. 23 News at 6. Local company is hoping a new website will drive up employment in the state line from 20... This is K2TV's News at 10. A man dies days after an incident where a Cheyenne police restrained him. And an epidemic in China affects a family in Wyoming. Good evening, everyone. I'm Flint Adams. And I'm Wendy Patton. Those stories are coming up, but first tonight... Multiple stab wounds lands one man in the hospital. Live from Wyoming's news leader, K2TV, this is K2's News at 10 with Lindy Patton, Chief Meteorologist Andy Shaw, and Sports with George K. Closed captioning for K2 News is brought to you exclusively by Wyoming.com. Me and my buddies, I have... As they say, all good things must come to an end. It's Sunday, September 20th, and this is the final edition of NBC Nightside. Good morning and welcome to NBC Nightside, everyone. I'm Tom Donovan. And I'm Chris Clackham. Good to have you with us this morning. Small community of Stoughton. Those stories coming up next on NBC 15. Coverage you can count on. This is NBC 15 News. Quite possibly, I could die. More than a war hero. He was a good kid, a good soldier, taken away too soon. If you see news happening, call the NBC 15 News hotline at 274-1500 or dial pound 15. Airtime free from your U.S. cellular phone. NBC 15 News. Coverage you can count on. Keeping you informed, involved, and in touch. This is News 3, live at 5. Good afternoon, I'm Katie Sy. And I'm Carleen Wilde. Today on Live at 5, a Marine is remembered. Green who died in Iraq. For local weather coverage every day, morning, noon, and night. We won't be quite as close tonight. It's clear right now in southern Wisconsin, but gradually inching its way eastward. The News 3 weather team, keeping you informed, involved, and in touch. You're watching News 3 live at 5 with Mark Kane and Katie Side. Well, this is that time of year those lawn weeds start to appear. And one in particular can be Clunky Bar Jim. We'll see you then. Gotta check it out. Tonight's headlines, a CBS News Expay. feel like I'm part of the world. From kindness to a warm dinner, the area's Meals on Wheels celebrates a landmark week. Plus, with the swish of the president's wrist, a bill is signed that could put some dough back in your pocket. And tell them I was at peace with myself when I died. A final salute to one of Wisconsin's finest. That's first on Fox for this Wednesday at 9. Wisconsin's first serviceman killed in Iraq is laid to rest. Good evening, I'm Kim Smem. 23-year-old Kirk Straseski's life and... Well, we saw a little bit of everything today with some sunshine early on and then the showers and thunderstorms. And it's just yeah. about perfect. That's right. It is just about perfect, and uh, we're out of time. Thanks for joining us. Have a good one. What's on, honey? Oh, Ray, come on. Saying goodbye to the local Marine who died in Iraq, a Wisconsin man who killed his family could go free, and are video games good for your mind? The news is next.
You're watching 27 News at 10. Yes, there have been some tensions, yes, uh, involving parties and noise and bar time. Some of the problems when you combine college and condominiums, the encroachment of two ways of life as Madison's skyline changes is our big story tonight on 27 News at 10. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sarah Carlson. Charles is off tonight. A condo... Get shoe five times a week. Alan Shoemaker, weekdays on 27 News, Wake Up Wisconsin. The series premiere Tuesday, June 3rd on Fox. This is Fox 9 News Now. Minnesotans mark the true price of freedom on Memorial Day. Signs of war. Who really won the battle of public opinion? It'll be a place to be avoided at all costs. <laughs> When it comes to summer road construction, you ain't seen nothing yet. Crime and punishment for a brutal high school hazing incident. Dogs trapped inside a burning kennel. Can rescuers make it there in time? Live from the Fox 9 studios, here's Robin Robinson and Jeff Passelt. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. As this weekend of barbecues and boatings comes to an end, Thousands of Minnesotans are marking the true meaning of Memorial Day. They're gathering. You're watching Fox 9 News with Robin Robinson, Jeff Passelt, meteorologist Janie Peterson, and sports director Jeff Grayson. What's your busiest time in the morning? I'm Alex Kendall. And I'm Tim Sherno from Fox 9 News. If you're like us, it's from 645 to 720. That's when we go nonstop with all news, weather, and traffic without any interruptions. So when you're going nonstop in the morning, Fox 9 News keeps you up to speed and gets you out the door. You're watching Fox 9 News. A breakthrough at the state capitol, and Robin has the details. Jeff, by this time tomorrow... The Today, millions celebrated Memorial Day. Next, how America honored its veterans. Plus, it's time for the summer heat, which means it's time for the air conditioning. Next, how you can save energy and money while keeping cool. I'm Carl Spring. Your big stories and total weather in the next five minutes. Watching UPN 29 News at 10 with the big story and weather in the first five minutes. And here's something you don't see every night of the year live from our helicopter. We'll be back in two minutes on UPN 29 News at 10. You're watching UPN 29 News at 10 from your family and your health to your home and your money. It's life 24-7. It was a gorgeous day today, but summer... It's Memorial Day with a special meaning for the president. It's the day to remember those who have fought for our freedom and also those who've lost their lives defending our country. Plus, lawmakers reached agreements on three of the four remaining budget bills early this morning. A deal on a tax bill, a transportation plan, and a bonding bill clear the way for a floor vote tomorrow. Those stories and more. Six News Good Morning starts right now. You're watching 6 News. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to 6 News. Good morning. It's Monday, May 26th. Happy Memorial Day. I'm Josh Benson. In this is WCCO 4 News at 5, the Twin Cities News Station. Hello, I'm Amelia Santanello, and for Dennis and Randy, a cat. Live from the Twin Cities News Station, this is WCCO 4 News at 5. Both hope and despair regarding SAR. This is CARE 11 News at 6. Coming up, Memorial Day observances. You're watching the award winning News Center 1 at 10. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Hopkins. And I'm Al Van Zee. Thank you for choosing News Center 1. You're watching News Center 1 at 10 with Al Van Zee. 
Elizabeth Hopkins, Chief Meteorologist Bob Riggio, and Ryan Gunn Sports. West East. You're watching News Center One Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Riggio. We had some strong thunderstorms move through uh, South Central uh, South Dakota and South.